It is actually 90 degrees, but feels like 100 degrees where I am today. So I thought it would be a good day to do an ice experiment to determine whether ice melts faster if it's on a white sheet of paper or if it melts faster if it is on a black sheet of paper. Now today we're going to be looking at the scientific method and the first step is to ask the question. Today's question is, will ice melt faster on a white piece of paper or a black piece of paper? Then we're going to conduct some background research. Think about in your past, has there ever been a time that you've noticed that things with a darker color or a lighter color seem hotter or cooler in the summer? I have a black dog and my black dog, when she's been out laying in the sun, her fur gets very hot. So it's like her fur is absorbing some of the heat while she's outside. So my hypothesis is that the black paper is going to cause the ice cube to melt faster. So the next step is we're going to test the hypothesis with the experiment. And finally, we're going to analyze our data, draw a conclusion and report out the results. So now I'm going to go and set up my supplies and get my stop motion camera ready to go. So the first thing I did was I went and I got two sheets of construction paper. And then I got two even sized ice cubes from the ice cube tray and I set them out on a table and then set my stop motion camera and recorded what happened next. So what is the science that's actually happening here? The black paper is absorbing the sun's rays while the white paper is reflecting it. So the black paper is actually warming up while the white paper is staying a little bit cooler. But I have to be honest, I kind of thought there would be a significant difference in the speed of ice melting. And in the first part of my video, you can see that the ice on the black paper is melting faster than the ice on the white paper. But if you saw the end of my video, which I actually never did record, I'm going to talk about that in just a minute, but if you saw the end of my video, you would see that there wasn't a big difference between the, the two pieces of paper by the end of the experiment. And there was a reason for that. I have a feeling, this is my suspicion, my hypothesis about my second experiment, that the temperature of the air had a lot to do with that because it was just so warm in the air that both ice cubes were going to melt very quickly regardless of how much heat was being absorbed by the black sheet of paper. So this is the type of experiment that leaves me with more questions at the end that makes me want to repeat the experiment and say, would I get different results if I tried this a different day? If I repeated this experiment, say, on a day when it was 70 degrees out, um, would it be really different than a day that is 90 degrees out? Would I see a, a big difference between the speed of the ice melting? Or even a cooler day, if it was 50 or 60, would I see an even greater difference? So this is an experiment I think I'm going to try again, just to see if I can get some different results from it. Now I wanted to tell you about my iPad. So I use my iPad to take stop motion video. And I set it up outside, and as I mentioned, it was very hot outside. And after a couple minutes, the screen went black on me, but I assumed it was still taking the video, so I didn't think much of it. And I went inside the house, and I set a timer for 10 minutes, came back out, the ice was still melting. So I went back in, set another timer for 10 minutes, came back out, the ice was still melting. Went back in a third time, about five minutes later, I came back out, and the ice was melted for both. So I picked up my iPad, and I could tell immediately my iPad was pretty hot. And I pressed the power button to turn it on turn the camera on and it said that the iPad had overheated and needs to cool down. So I ended up having to put my iPad in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes to let it cool down. So I learned an extra lesson that I hadn't planned on learning today, which was that you have to be very careful with electronics when you leave them in direct sunlight because they can overheat, especially that black screen on my iPad and the black case that was absorbing the heat the same way that the construction paper was. And in the end, I could have done some significant damage to that iPad. So another lesson learned that I just wanted to pass on to you. So I'm definitely gonna try this experiment again under different conditions. I may update this video and let you know what happens with those, but give this one a try. See what happens for you. Will ice melt faster on black or white paper? Formulate your hypothesis. Do you think the ice will melt faster on white or black paper? Maybe even test some other colors as well to see if other colors are affected by the sun's rays. 
Place ice cubes on different colored surfaces and observe what happens. Look at your data and come up with your conclusion and then share your results with someone.